Hey guys, welcome to my workspace. Today I'm going to show you where I work, how I organise my stock and where I make all my products. So let's start over on this side and I'll show you what the storage unit is used for. I actually put this together from a shelving unit we got from friends. Initially we used it as shoe storage, but as it was the perfect size to fit here, I've painted it and adapted it to add more storage to my workspace. These drawers are from IKEA and are meant for one of their units, but as the fixtures need wood to screw into it meant that they worked really well on here too, so I added them to give some extra enclosed storage over here. So on the top shelf over here I keep my packs of cards, these are the pack of six greetings cards that you can buy on my Etsy shop. The next tub over has my bookmarks in them, I've got tabs on them here to know which one's which and they are all double sided. And then the next tub over I just have some mugs on that are seconds and they'll go for a second sale. Down here again I've just got some spare uh, mug boxes in there and then this drawer is some um, um, little gift bags and packaging things. I don't really use, tend to use these anymore but I'm keeping them there for gifts and things. And then the first shelf's got these compostable mailer pouches. This is what I use for my international orders. That's where all their tracking information and things goes on them. So they're kept in there. This one is all my made up letter packs. So that's them ready for orders. Again, spare mug boxes. And then in this drawer we've got ribbons, that's what I use for tying the letter packs and the card packs as well. And this is all the things for making up the, my letter packs, so the envelopes, some stickers, um, all that jazz in there. And then down here is where all the heavy duty things go. So these are covered, some of these are covered because Birch actually sits down here on this rug. And I don't want her to cast any hairs or anything on me, so they get covered, but this is the notebooks. My A5 notebooks, this is some list pads that are packaged ready for wholesale stockists. That's these ones here. Down in this one is the weekly planners. All in there, that covered. More A5 notepads covered in there and that's more notepads in the weekly planners for Etsy orders. This side is my spare tape. This is where I keep all of my packing tape and paper tape and fragile tape. They're running a bit low actually, I could do with ordering some more of them. And then this one, oh, sweeties, by my sweetie drawer. These are hidden from my partner because he eats all my chocolate if he sees it in the cupboard. <laughs> so they get moved around and hidden in my ones. I'll need to change it now because if he watches this, he'll know where they are. Um, these are my little note cards. This is what they're kept for. I order my note cards from and my business cards from different people. So I use Vistaprint at the moment for my little note cards. That's what you get in your orders. Um, because I re actually really like the quality of them. I like that they're not too thick or anything because of what they're used for. I just think they're really nice. Um, but I do use Moo for my business cards, which I'll show you them later on. And then next to that I have bog standard Billy Book case from Ikea. I've got three of them, but you know what? They are so, so handy. I like that they come in different heights and widths and things. You can really personalise your storage space for your own needs. So I like that. So very top I've got some house plants and things and then these are all businessy books, that's my iPad, notepads, notepads and some business books that I use a lot. This is beautiful ceramics from Faux Ceramic, I'll put that a little link to her because I absolutely adore her work. It's stunning, keep okay, that there. It's got more sweeties in it as well. Another house plant and then there's some storage tabs. This is all stickers, which is exciting because I actually got new stickers and I'll be showing you that soon. I've swapped from making stickers myself to having them made for me because I'm selling too many that, than I can make on my own, <laughs> um, but also because they are now going to be fully recyclable. So I'm going to show you that in another video, but this is stickers, stickers and more stickers. Um, down here is, these are all my fabric swatches, I will be sorting them out soon, that's all my fabric. When I put them on spoon flower you have to check your patterns and have fabric printed with them. So that's all my fabric swatches, there's a couple of bundles of them in there. Um, and then this is all greetings cards. And now for wholesale orders, obviously I make up the greetings cards 
when the orders come in like obviously I just make them when they need them but I like keeping a stock of this for when I'm doing my own Etsy orders that helps me just process the orders really quickly and then underneath that is an ammo mug storage in here so that's neat and filled up a little bit but again I like keeping a little stock of them for Etsy orders and if any small um, wholesale orders come in I can process them really quickly and then my next Billy bookcase, more notepads and sketchbooks and things up there. And then there are some of my favourite illustration books. I have a beautiful print from my friend Evie. This is a box we were given this by our friends in Australia and I love it. So it's on my shelf at the minute. And then this is all my wrapping paper. So this is how my wrapping paper gets stored. Um, I have this professionally printed for me because it's large, very much larger than my printers can handle. And it, so this is folded. So obviously each sheet is four times that size. I do ask the company that prints them to fold them for me. That's one of the things that they do as standard um, because they just understand that it's much easier for people like me to store them. And it's also easier for me to ship, easier and cheaper actually, for me to ship them out when they're flat like that and not having to roll them as sheets. So that's them all there. And again, the ones near the bottom are covered in tissue paper just to stop Birch dirtying them with her beard and <laughs> she's walking by. Um, and then down at the bottom here I've got more of these big tubs and these are the list pads that are all made up either for Etsy orders or I can then put cellos on them if I'm needed for wholesale orders. Underneath is more of the same that I've not had their magnets or belly bands put on, they're just kept flat. That's the flower ones there and that's the puffin ones there. Um, so that's big storage for that which is really handy. Again it's put at the bottom because it's really heavy. And then right over on my last Billy bookcase, in my top shelf here is a whole bunch of boring paperwork things but very necessary for <laughs> keeping your own business. A4 hardback envelopes and then I've got some spare labels which I use for my mugs. This is actually a tub for seconds. If there's seconds cards or art prints or stickers they've ended up in this box for and they'll get brought out for a second sale. And here are some ready-made art prints that have been printed. And I've got a couple of storage boxes that are just cardboard that I store some of my greetings card paper in and this is all the ink from my printers and they're old boxes but I, they're really handy, they're a good size and obviously my ink needs to be kept in the dark so that's good that it's there. This is another tub full of spare paper so that's label paper and then underneath that is more mug papers uh, for pressing, uh, printing my mugs and then on this side my very much needing filled up cupboard is the ceramic mugs that I keep made up for Etsy orders and things. I've just packaged a big order, wholesale order, so I stole some out of there so that needs to be replanned. And then this would be our dining table but it's my mug pressing station. <laughs> That's my mug press and then I've got heat mats for protecting the table from heat. This is just a cutting mat actually but it works fine for protecting against the heat on the table as well. And then underneath, I'm showing you my studio today because it looks quite tidy, but it's just because I'm low on mugs, <laughs> on the on blank mugs. So this is some under here. I am waiting for a pallet worth of enamel mugs being delivered, so we'll soon be surrounded by mugs again. But while it was tidy, I thought I'll quickly show you around <laughs> while we can get access. Um, so obviously mug boxes usually fill up this whole space, but at the moment I've got my big paper roll for packaging orders and then a standard IKEA unit for more of my bits and bobs for wrapping and then this unit on this side we move the chair out of the way so you can see um i actually love this unit this again is another ikea one i can't remember the name of it is ivor i think the ivor system and they come in all different heights so you buy obviously all the bits separate you could build whatever ones that you want and they come in two different depths as well so this is the deepest one I think you get one that's about half as deep, but this deep one is perfect. So it actually fits a full ream of tissue paper flat um, and boxes in it as well. Um, obviously you can see all my postal boxes are stored here. You can get them with doors. I was going to buy the doors to cover the front, make it look a little bit prettier. But to be honest, I do practical over pretty in here because everything needs to be able to work quickly. And if I had doors on, it would just get in my way I think so I haven't done that and I'm all right with that and um, this one obviously there's my Cricut machine that's what I print uh, cut my stickers on and labels and things and um, here's a stack of paper that I use all the time these are already pre-printed mug papers that I keep just again so I've got stock greetings card paper mug paper sticker paper and label paper and then up here I've got even more papers <laughs> all different types so I just use recycled paper in my normal bog standard printer 
um, for printing invoices and receipts and things. So I've got a heap of those. I think there's three, four. That's got recycled paper in it as well. This is the paper I use for my bookmarks. I say paper, it's very thick card for my book cup marks. Um, my letter set papers here and my the print paper that I use, which is this stuff. Um, I, actually, I really, really like this, but I'm going to have a little investigation into different print papers that I can use um, that have more of a texture because that one is completely smooth and although it goes through the printer very well it's a bit, I don't know, it's maybe a bit too prim and nice for me <laughs> I would maybe like it to be a bit more watercolour-esque so I'm going to have a look at them but I do really really like that paper, it's beautiful quality and, it, and the print comes out really well This is one of my printers, it's my sublimation printer for my mugs It's the ET2710 um, and I'm going to run through a full vlog on how I actually make my mugs and talk about the equipment a bit more because you'll see here there's a random little box of ink <laughs> and yeah I'm going to describe that more I wouldn't recommend this actually I'm going to say that quickly it does work as a sublimation burner but I wouldn't recommend it because of this so look out for my mug video and I'm going to explain about that in more detail in there so coming on to this side of my work desk this is my art printer it's another Epson, it's another EcoTank, it's the ET7700 and I really, really love it. it. Again, the print quality is gorgeous on this and it's very compact as you can see. The only two downsizes I would say was one, I probably should have got the A3 size printer, this is just the A4 um, and that way obviously I would have been able to print larger scale things. And two, the paper bed, so where you put your paper in, is very, very small. Obviously it's a compact printer it needs to be small but it does mean that you're continually having to fill it up with paper <laughs> um, but that's okay I change the paper that I put in it all the time anyway depending on if it's bookmarks or letter packs or greetings cards or art prints so it, it's not that big a deal but if you're doing a big print run it's a bit annoying it's one of the only things I would say is annoying about the printer but print quality is excellent and then underneath my desk here excuse the spaghetti junction that's about to get changed I'm hoping to swap my laptop for a computer so we'll be changing all these wires soon but this is just my bog standard printer that I use my recycled paper in um, and on top I keep my scanner I use an Epson scanner but I don't need that all the time so it keeps in there um, and then this is more space that I've actually got for storing mugs that's one box but it will be filled up quite soon so right down here on the bottom at the, on the floor is where I keep my massive art file um, and also my pads of watercolour paper I like that they are on flat um, pad you can take the whole sheet of paper out straight away it's not in any bound books or anything so all my work needs um, scanned in so the flatter the paper the better and um, so I end up just with separate sheets of artwork rather than books full of it and um, but it works for my type of work so that's what I use and that's where that gets kept under there so that it's flat that's one of the workstations that I work on quite often you'll see me doing that I, that's obviously where I've been printing things and packaging things Next to that is a drawer unit, which again, all of my furniture pretty much is IKEA, whether it was secondhand or bought solely for the purpose, it is, but it's basically because it all fits together and it's really useful for this size. I've, I've gathered pieces over the years, but they all fit together. Love these drawers. Some are shallow, these top ones are shallow and the bottom ones are deep. I store all my um, packaging supplies in here. So this is greetings cards, that's some envelopes and that's a greetings card cello bags. Or, uh, the, compostable cello bags, spare, more spare thank you notes, some stickers and things. This is my belly bands for my products, so that's obviously for the list pads. Um, and this is my list pad compostable cellos. It's where I have all my print packaging things, so A5 and A4 art prints, that's the grey board backings recycled, and again cello bags. And that's my business cards, and like I mentioned before, I use Moo for my business cards. Now I used to use Vistaprint but I really really like Moo because I now do the patterns. I find it's really useful that Moo allows you to order different backings. So obviously all the writing is the same on one side but then all the backing can be all my different patterns and I love that. And I also like that they're really small and um, they're not massive, they don't take up too much room and things. So yeah I really like these, really pleased with the print quality and they're super thick. Um, this is more envelopes. I buy 
envelopes by the thousand really um, so they end up being everywhere but at the moment this is the ones I've got left so they're in that drawer and then in this drawer I've got a whole stash of my heat proof tape which I use for my making my mugs I've got spare belly bands for the wrapping paper and I've got some labels for the label printer and then this desk is on the end so I've made a big cube of desk um, so I've got work surfaces all the way around it. This desk is where I wrap most of my orders. So this is some Etsy orders that are all out for wrapping. And I now obviously package and wrap my wholesale orders on here too. It has drawers in. This side is tissue paper and hardback envelopes. And this side is the A5 size hardback envelopes. A whole bunch of the stickers because I like to match my stickers to the products that you're buying. <laughs> um, this is the compostable cells for the bookmarks and some for when I'm packaging stickers here. Um, and then up here I've got a nice, um, my friend made this, it's beautiful, and I keep all my business cards in there for when I'm wrapping. Tape and such things in there, obviously my lamp, headphones, little thank you notes for wrapping orders. This is one of my tripod things for when I'm filming. Twine, pencil holder, all the things that are useful. And so this is us now round at my main desk, and this is where I sit to do all my emails any computer kind of work when I'm making patterns and things this is where I sit but it's also where I do my paperwork so I've got my little mini filing cabinet underneath on this side with some list pads and um, I also keep another stack of papers that I use all the time on there I have my pegboard in this corner which has got all my paintbrushes it's got some artwork that I've either gathered over the years been given or I've bought myself empty jars for water some more pens and things and tools that is my zebra label printer which I use for printing all my labels for postage for Etsy and wholesale orders and then up here there's some more sketchbooks and notepads that I use all the time that's all there some more of my favorite little books illustration books and rulers and stuff and that is where I usually sit So I hope that's been interesting for you today guys to see where I work and how I store my products. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks, goodbye.